Okay, this is going to be a quick guide on how to install or write a serial number onto an Intel Mac that does not display a serial number. So you can see this one says unavailable. And if we go to system report, it says the same thing. So what you'll need for this is a flash drive. This one's 16 gigabytes, but anything more than I think like 500 megs will do the job just fine. So we'll go ahead and plug that in. And I'm going to open disk utility and erase it. So we'll just do 16 gigabytes, Mac OS extended, guide partition map, and then we'll get to erase. All right, now that that's done, you're going to go to the link in the description and download this Dropbox file. And the file we really want is this DMG file. So what we're going to do is go into Disk Utility, select our drive, click Restore, and we're going to restore from that DMG. So you're going to find it on your desktop, choose it, and click Restore. Okay, once that's done, we're going to restart the Mac while holding down the Option key. And this is future me coming back in here to say that High Sierra did not work for this. I ended up having to reinstall Mac OS. I believe I did Mac OS 10.10, .10, which I think was Yosemite. And I was able to change the serial number that way. It still said EFI boot, but as you can see here, my attempt to do it on High Sierra did not work. Um, the program just never loaded. So this this was kind of a hassle, but it turned I, I, I guess that it just does not work on um, Mac OS High Sierra. But I can confirm, as you'll see later in this video, that it does work in Mac OS Yosemite. So you're gonna take the USB drive that you have installed the um, serial number software, I forget what it's called on there. You're going to plug it into the Mac, press the power button, and hold down the option key, like so. And once we're in here, you're going to click accept on this. The cursor is extremely slow. I'm trying as hard as I can to get it over here. Accept, accept, and then you're going to enter your serial number, which for me is on the bottom of my Mac. So let me go look at that and then I'll be right back once I find it. Once you've typed that in, you're going to click continue and say that yes, that is correct. Yes. And then double and triple check it, because once you write this, that's it, it's over. You can't change it. All right, once that's done, you can restart your computer and you should have a serial number now. All right, I am back and the serial number successfully changed and I went back to Mac OS Catalina. So as you can see, let me zoom in here. We do have a serial number and it is matching the logic board and the bottom case for this computer. So now that we have that, we can successfully sign into iCloud, iMessage, any of that sort of thing, which we could not do before without a serial number. So as I mentioned earlier, this did not work for me when I was on Mac OS Catalina or High Sierra. So I had to use a USB installer that I had laying around for like El Capitan or Yosemite before the serial number changer 
actually was able to be booted into and successfully change the serial number. So if you have this issue, I don't think it's gonna work on the more recent versions of Mac OS. You're gonna to have to try an older version like I did, but I hope you found this video helpful. If you encounter any problems, feel free to leave me a message down below and I will do my best to help you figure it out. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.